Hör auf dein Herz. After decades of treating cardiac arrhythmia like atrial fibrillation with different kinds of antiarrhythmic drugs leading to disappointing results, now several new studies have shown an impressive impact of lifestyle interventions. Recently, the so-called legacy study showed impressive effects of weight loss on the reduction of episodes of atrial fibrillation. Almost half of the patients with non-permanent atrial fibrillation, more precisely 46%, who managed to reduce their weight permanently by 10% were free of atrial fibrillation compared to only 13, respectively 22% of the patients with no or only moderate weight reduction. It is also widely known that physical fitness is a protective factor against cardiovascular disease. People with good physical fitness therefore experience atrial fibrillation less frequently. Though until now it remained unclear if people who already suffered from atrial fibrillation could affect the disease positively by achieving a better level of fitness. This question has now been impressively addressed by the CardioFit study. 308 overweight patients with known atrial fibrillation were observed and the aim of the study was to figure out the effect of a structured physical training on the frequency of episodes of atrial fibrillation. The patients took part in a regular structured endurance and strength training with low or moderate intensity, more precisely 60 to 200 minutes of sport spread over three to five days in a week. By the end of the study, patients who improved their endurance by more than two so-called metabolic equivalents were compared to those patients who didn't. After an average four-year observational period, not only the physical level of fitness could be improved in a large part of the patients, but also episodes of atrial fibrillation documented by 7-day long-term ECG were dramatically reduced in dependence of the achieved level of fitness. At the end of the study, patients who managed to improve their fitness level by more than two metabolic equivalents were free of atrial fibrillation in 61% compared to 18% in the group of patients who didn't. The best effects could be achieved by a combination of lifestyle modifications. Patients who manage to elevate their physical fitness level by more than two metabolic equivalents while also achieving a 10% weight reduction stayed free of atrial fibrillation at the end of the study in 76%. It's very important though to know that these effects have been shown for a physical activity of low to moderate intensity. As always in life, it's a question of finding the right dose. And there's very good evidence that excessive physical activity, like repeated marathon runs, puts our cardiovascular system under pressure and can increase the risk of atrial fibrillation by stretching the atria of the heart. In summary, we can state that a permanent weight loss of overweight patients in combination with a regular physical training is by far the most effective antiarrhythmic drug and the best protection against cardiovascular disease like atrial fibrillation. On that note, let's get active.